They're having a party. <laughs> What is up, guys? Just spent the uh, afternoon out and about with my brother. And then uh, we came to the park. There's a game to play on the playground, wherever he disappeared to. It's a Memorial Day weekend. Uh, yeah, everyone's out and about. What's up, Gabriel? I tried to say to grab his drink. Uh oh. Let me comment um, if you know if it's been and give a lot of me to your YouTube. All I heard was gibberish. So leave him a comment if you like fidget spinners. Oh gosh. That has to be on my channel. The very mention of fidget spinners. El Destructo of Fidget Spinners over here. Well, mine's really broken, so I'll throw it away. Oh. Um, really you threw away the green one that I fixed twice for you? Oh, don't worry, I'm giving it for my sister Paris. And I see it too for my, for my sister Paris too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, well, that's how I throw away. I'm sure you'll destroy that one too, El Destructo. Mm -hmm. Probably within 10 minutes. Yep. The green one was nice until you destroyed it. I wasn't even nice. Every time I drop it, the bands come out. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder why. That's what and happens. The, and that happened in Subway while you were facing out the people. It did happen. If it broke, it's because you did it. Yep. Things don't just break without no no action <laughs> in the. Uh... I just heard a goose. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I don't see there. no geese here. It's over there. That was probably really It's a Memorial Day get together. I know. Something this family <laughs> never does, right? Oh. No. Spider. Where? <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh. <laughs> it didn't get you. Are you burning a spider? He just roasted to death. He's got a couple missing legs. That's messed up. No, it ain't. Messed up is when they bite you. For just sleeping. How dare you sleep, sir? And you know spiders bite in pairs. So they go, ow, ow. They bite you in two places. Just to make sure that you got the point across? Yeah. That look of yours is so... I don't know, man. That look makes me want to smack you every time you give that look to anybody. Of course. You guys are mortal enemies. That, that It's just like, I don't know, that look is just a I look. Think I think it's just Gabriel. Oh. I think just Gabriel in general irks you. <laughs> he does irk me. He's a turtle killer. Yep, you murdered a turtle this morning. In the most vicious way you could. That was right dead when Tynes freaking He smashed it on cement. And the internet's gonna know this now. And I had a broken arm. Yep. Well, because time chewed it. Yeah. No, yeah. First, do you think I'm lying? You do threw you it at Titan, too. I was already dead. Until, yeah, so, we, okay, let's just go with the it was already dead thing. So, you threw a dead turtle at my dog? No. He picked it up when he found it. Hmm. I didn't do it. Guess what? Guess yeah, guess what else? There's more to this story that I didn't actually tell you. What? He got it from the side of the house because I heard him crawling over the doghouse to get back over. Oh, you didn't know I knew that, huh? That that deer in headlights look right now. Mm -hmm. Where? You'll get to see it later. Yep, and so will the rest of the internet. I love you, dude. There's a spider on your shirt, on the back, on your back. Let me see. Stop! You gonna throw a perfectly good cheeseburger like you did that turtle? 
<laughs> He's a turtle and a bird killer. Bird turtle killer. And a dog swinger. What, what, yeah, I remember swinging around that chihuahua or something by its tail. What was it? No, by its leash, like a helicopter. What was it? A, a chihuahua? chihuahua? Dang. That, that was, uh... I remember when he took a, a hit when you cut when he took a hammer and hit Rascal with it. Future Hitler incarnate. Yep. I wonder what my my viewers are gonna have to say about this stuff. They'll probably call you a blibbering fat ass again. Well, many of them do. And now he called me a uh, no beast something. That's fucked up. The people are assholes. Mm -hmm. Makes you want to just. Hack them, huh? Yep. Dox them. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, I'm sure it wouldn't be hard if that's his YouTube name. And I'm he, a YouTuber. And if he uses it a lot. I'm a YouTuber. Would not be hard at all. His name was uh, for the money or something like that. I'm a YouTuber. Moolah, something Moolah. Hey, look, there's an old, like, uh, Merrick carousel. It is, isn't it? A little tiny carousel. They're bringing it in here. Guys, I'm a YouTuber. Maybe not. I'm a YouTuber. You don't qualify as a YouTuber unless you have a certain amount of videos. And You're you on best gore. <laughs> For turtle killing. <laughs> For turtle killing. Our, uh, live leaks. Boy, good thing the camera didn't He's a live leaker. The camera didn't see you kill the turtle? Is that what you said? Yeah. You go so play? you admit that you killed the turtle, the camera just didn't catch you doing it? Mm -hmm. Ah, I got it. He admits to killing that the turtle. That was so freaking mean. That was, that was, that was, that was probably Michelangelo's kid, man, or Donatello's. Or Leonardo or Raphael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least he didn't smack you in the eye with a beanie baby. He knows better than that. I love you. Get your knee out your shirt. Love comes at a price. Don't do that to your stuff. Yeah, Mr. Destructo. Yeah, because that, that stuff costs money. Ha, ha. Where's the geese? I used to have that exact same. Oh, mine was a Saturn. Yo, GI Joe. He doesn't even know what GI Joes are, does he? Do you know what a GI Joe is? Joe. Leave me another comment if you if you hate some of uh, some of Justin's videos or mine. Okay, you're gonna become the new star of the YouTube channel. Guys, <laughs> did you did you see my videos on YouTube? Because I said I do play Justin Team King. And goodbye. Go then. Whoa. Whoa, the whole thing's moving. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, it bends forward and then backwards. Keep going there, brother. Really get really get some speed going. Yeah. It would have been funny to see you face plant. It's too heavy for that. Forward momentum just doesn't get there. <laughs> Jump, Gabe. No. Why not? Ah, I need to get high. Yeah, get as high as your Gabe. Otherwise, you're not cool. Keep going, Gabe. You're not quite high enough yet. I dare you to jump, Gabe. No. No. That's me being a good brother. See, I knew he was going to try and do that eventually. And I didn't even catch it. What is up, guys? That background noise you hear is actually, uh, I'm doing my first damn training for all states. 
through Tell Tech. Uh, I just wanted to get up and move around, so I took the laptop outside. The convenience of a laptop, I can continue doing the training and don't have to be inside. What are you all curious about? See something over there? Oh, there's a squirrel or something in that tree. Huh. Right around there, I think. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's gathering leaves, man. Is that the squirrel you saw over here? Did it, like, jump over there? Wouldn't that be cool? Or is there another squirrel you're curious about over here? Huh? Anyway, pretty nice day out. My back's been hurting a lot recently, though. Anyways, I probably should get back to listening to what they have to say, but welcome to the second clip of the week. I believe I recorded one a little earlier, so see you soon. See you on the next clip, see, probably, maybe another one today, I don't know. If I have something to record, I'll record it, if I don't, I don't. Hey! Are you causing a ruckus? It's a little late to be causing ruckuses. Are you ruckusing? Are you romping with him? You need to chill out, young man. Give me paw. Give me some paw. Give me some paw. Thanks, bro. Go back to playing. Later, dude. Titan. Let's see what sort of shenanigans Gabe's up to when he thinks we're not watching him. Gotta make it so he doesn't know I can see him. Guess I know where all the water bottles keep disappearing too. Sit. Good boy. Um, you want, you want some hamburger? Nope. I'll give you a piece, okay? Alright, alright, he doesn't know I'm watching you good. Yeah, which is probably why you're not misbehaving. Why are you always... Uh, bring that back in here. That's gonna run off. Little monster. What are you doing? Vlogging? Yep. We're watching you see what sort of shenanigans you're getting up to. Strangers, thought I'd come out here and uh, play some frisbee with my doggo. Have no idea what it is. I just stepped on right there. Oh. It's a nice day to me. <laughs> Plus, I need to get out and get a little exercise, anyways. Throwing the old frisbee is a good start. In fact, oh, let's give him a little privacy there. In fact. Uh, I think I'm going to reinstall a app I used to use called Runtastic. I've uh, been suffering from a lot of back issues recently. And uh, over the last couple of weeks, about a week or so, I've been suffering a lot of back pain. Um, and 
I think it's a sign that I really need to get off my butt and start doing a little more. Ow, dog, jeez, man. He has a habit of biting at people when he's playing, even when he's carrying something. Trying to see, show you guys the result of the fire that was in here, but I don't think you can really, uh, don't think you can really see in there. All right, well, going to a luau. That's what the, the stranger danger here in the truck was all about. So see you there. Is that what all these signs oh, say? When you get, when we get to the house, I gotta take you in and you uh, gotta see his, uh, he was, he's been a big game hunter for like a long time. Yeah. And he's got trophy, like this whole two rooms filled with trophy animals. You gotta see it. It's like, I've never seen nothing like it before. I mean, he lives pretty much in the woods. Yeah, it looks like you're going down into like nowhere. Is this all his property? Yeah, he's got 200 acres. Dang! Got that sign right there. It What's says, that sign say? Trespasser. Here lies Trespasser Joe. Was sneaking low, stubbed his toe. Poor, poor old Joe. Ain't no mo. Laid below. <laughs> this guy's scaring me now. <laughs> He's got all these I think he wants signs. To, I think he wants to scare people. And, and then a big game hunting room. <clears throat> this property protected by the firm of Glock, Ruger, Uzi, and Kal Kalishnikov. Let's go. Come on. Well, I have a feeling he's a gun-toting American. <laughs> there's, there's his leg. There's his airplane. And it's a hangar. So he's, uh, his tithings are paid well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we have to go farther back? What, does he have a little airport, too, for his plane? Well, his house is back here. It's a pretty, pretty good-sized house. 200 acres. I'm glad it's not all grass. I'd hate to have to mow that, wouldn't you, Ryan? Yeah. Is that his house over there? Is it a house or a mansion? Cause I mean, it's like, I don't, I don't know, it's like a big house, but... This seems like a movie setting. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You ever seen Cabin in the Woods there? Uh, cabin by the Lake or yeah. <laughs> something like that. The cabin in the woods is a cabin by the lake, actually. Is this his house? Yeah, that's his house. Nice house. Plenty of rooms. People are starting to leave, but you guys are going to be running back to some food. Yeah, we're a little late, aren't we? Have you named them all? <laughs> hey, you didn't get pigs. I'm, named, I'm naming dead animals. <laughs> Alright, name them all. Lewis. <laughs> Alright. Ron. <laughs> Alice. Alex. Al. <laughs> now, did he hunt all of these? Yes. Did you hunt every animal in here? I believe so. One in the African room that I did. My wife shot that. And there's a couple of them. One of them, they're all in Paulus. One of my grandson shot, and the other my granddaughter shot. You got yourself and an And then the rhino. Yeah, I, I was explaining that one. I darted it. Okay, that's... Oh, yeah, because you can't kill them, huh? Yeah, you can. When they're 34 years old. Oh, when they're... The government will issue permit. And when you shoot an old white rhino, the population goes up. Yeah, because the money that you spend to get the permits to do it goes even, towards the uh, conservation. That's absolutely true, but even more important, 
old rhinos kill young males. Oh. Kill a bunch of them. So, so you take out the old one. <coughs> the they take out the competition. Up. And also the money that we spend, they, the, uh, the rhino conservation has changed in favor of the rhino now because of international big game hunters. Money. <coughs> they're buying drones with infrared sensors. To find and them? And they patrol the rhino country at night and they can, they're stopping, they're slowing down the poaching tremendously. Hopefully no one's using drones to find the rhinos to hunt. That's kind of cheating. No. Most of those are poor people. What, what's your name, Dr. <coughs> Pardon? What was your name? Scott. Scott. Dave, David Scott. I'm Josh. Okay, Josh. What kind of doctor were you, by the way? I still am. MD. <laughs> Emergency medicine. Semi okay. The, the Whatever comes the door. Moose catchers. Uh, say that again? There. Whatever comes through really? the door. Yeah, because like... Do you, uh, you must own your own practice or something like that. Well, I did. I was in solo practice. This is a pretty nice house you got, that's for sure. The Lord has blessed me incredibly. The Lord owns all of this. I'm just the steward of it. <laughs> is that alligator or crocodile? I don't know that's my... alligator. I don't know my... I got uh, him down in Louisiana. Oh. About... Which one's bigger, alligators or crocodiles? They both get very big. They get close to 20 feet, both of them. Ever hunt any snakes? Large snakes? Those, oh, I've those, seen them. Those are enormous, those moose. Yeah, I've never that, seen a moose. This is moose. Alaskan Yukon moose, and that's the largest subspecies. Then you've got the Canadian moose, and then in the United States, in the west and in Maine, you have the Shiras moose, S-H-I-R-A-S, and they're the smallest. But this was, I got him up above the Arctic Circle. He's an Alaskan Yukon moose. What did it take to take him down? Well, I shot him with a 35 caliber Marlin. It was... One shot? Well, I shot him five times and he kept walking. All, <laughs> that was all an area that big in the chest. And I felt sorry for him when he went down. But it was 58 and a half inches spread. And that's a really a nice one. But the world record's 81 inches. So he's a baby next to the little right Yeah. There. And what is this? A that's pelt of? That skin there, uh, that's an Inyala. I have no idea what that is. That's an African antelope. Okay. Inyala. Did you get some of these in the places that you've been? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just picked up little curios. That's yeah. very cool. What is that? Unless it's supposed to be obvious. <laughs> it's just a decoration. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's a, a snare that I took back, and when we're on safari, we take these snares down. Chief of the area I hunted in Cameroon the last one two years ago. I take it you've got cats? Yeah. Cat bed? Mm-hmm. Any well, dogs? This is, yeah, this is for my dog. Oh, that's for your dog, okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he's in my car because he bites. And these, are these peacock feathers? Peacock feathers. That's what I thought. Anyway, we, we, they take down hundreds of these snares. They're very, very cruel. The animal steps in that. They put them in the trail and they dig a hole about a foot underneath it. They can't pull their foot out when no. they step in. Mm -mm. What's the story of this chest? Of that chest? Yeah. I got that in Guatemala. Just a lot of carving on it. So we cover it up with the Impala skin. <laughs> <laughs> Make any sense. What was the hardest thing that you hunted? What took the most effort and work? Uh, I'd say the the moose and the jaguar. The moose I carried his horns, his cape, uh, all of the edible meat, and all my camp gear. I had 110 pounds on my back. Six the jaguar seems he was probably hard to catch or yeah, hard to. Yeah, it was easy. It's six and a half miles over two mountain ranges, 110 pounds on my back, and there were no trails. That's for the moose. Muskeg, my feet sink into the, my knees. Did you go I by yourself, sleeping. or did you have people with you? I had it by myself. Carried, uh, I had to carry it all the way down to this river called the Broken Soft Skull, and I had a Zodiac boat there. How long ago was this? That was probably 15 years ago. Or more than that. I was a lot younger. I was 40. I was 40 years old probably. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Oh, what did, uh, that bear, what kind of bear was that I That's saw in the Alaskan river? brown bear. I got him out on the Alaskan Peninsula near the Adiachak Crater. 
Are these from things you hunted too? Yeah, these are all the skulls of some of the cats here. And that's that's the skull of a red river hog I got two years ago in Cameroon, West Africa. What are these? Besides just decoration? Necklaces. And they're made by the Indibili women. And they're famous for their beadwork. Yeah, it's really intricate, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. This is a Sidatungra. And they live uh, only along two rivers in Africa. And uh, their skin is, hair is real uh, oily. And when there's danger, they submerge and just keep their nose out of the water. And, and I'm out, guessing that the oiliness makes it yeah, so they're they kind drip, of water resistant. Yeah, and they drip dry when they come out. I mean, they're not even wet. Well, this, this little legend here shows you what color. And the red and violet, that's me. The white's my wife. Uh, the blue is my daughter Dawn. The green is my daughter Stephanie. Uh, the purple is my grandson Caleb. So this is all the places you, your family has visited? This is where we visited. We've never been to Australia and India. Planning on going? I'd like to, but I'm 81 years old, uh, and I, can, I probably can't afford it now. Uh, I gave all my money away to my offspring, and uh, I'm fortunate that I have no debt. House paid for, cars paid for. Land zoned. Airplanes paid for. This is a creepy statue. <laughs> so it, it, would, it would startle me if... Uh... I have to show you something interesting. I had a black woman uh, showing me. This is a medicine man. I'm a medicine man. And so she, when she showed me this, she pulled this up. She pulled this up. And I don't know what I was thinking about how. But it was, I said, are all blacks that little? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Almost ran into you. Yeah, that's okay. Is that a zebra? <laughs> yeah. And that's a virtual zebra. There's about five different kinds of zebras. They have shadow stripes. I hear the reason you can't use a zebra as a horse is because they're aggressive. But some of them do. They've really? been domesticated, yeah. Oh. But it's a lot of work. <laughs> I imagine. And there's a leopard back there. I don't know if you saw him in the grass. Oh, I did not. What is it, five years of domestication and they're kind of lost their I'm sure it varies. With the individual animal. Is yeah. that a lynx? This, yeah, this is an African lynx, or it's actually called a caracal cat. How did you bring this back? They the ship them by they, airplane. They, they do? Box? Wow. <laughs> yeah, the skin and the skulls. Yeah. This is a black African wildcat, and only one out of 2,000 are black, and I, I got one. It looks like the my, my old cat. <laughs> well, you notice his legs, how long they are? Yeah. They're a lot longer than a kitty cat. And if you want to hear something a little bit about elephants, I'll ask you a few questions. How many sets of teeth does an elephant have? And humans, of course, have two sets, baby tooth and adults. Isn't it like four or five? Six. I did not and know this that. is the last set of this elephant. And you can see he's worn down almost to the gum, and this is his sixth set. When this gets down here, they chew on limbs and they bleed. They get weaker and weaker and take six weeks, and they starve to death. They fall over, and the lions and hyenas start tearing them up before they're dead. And it's really a cruel death. I imagine. And elephants, how long do you think elephants live in the wild? I don't know, 40, 50 years? You're right, 45 to 50. And how about in captivity? Probably Not as long. Than, uh, 75. Oh, and the right. reason is they have soft food. They wear out their six set a lot slower. And elephants are right-handed or left-handed. This was a left-handed elephant. See, he's worn this down here, and this one's round. Oh, so he favored digging he favored, and stuff uh, with the, the left, left tusk. He's, so he was left-handed. I'm and guessing that's just a simple a, bug net. <laughs> this is the left ear of the elephant. It's shaped like the continent of Africa, the left ear is. And if you put your hand here and rub it, you'll feel the hair on it. So do you hunt any of these, or is it just... Hunted all of them. Oh, really? What, what did you use for the elephant? I shot him. With what? Like a, four, uh, a, four, a 458 Winchester Magnum. Really? Yeah. One shot. I, I shot my first deer with a 3030 at 230 yards with a rifle I'd never used before. Take it. This is the other ear? That's the, uh, that's the uh, right ear. And th that <coughs> Impala... That's my <clears throat> granddaughter got it. And this is a female that my grandson got. Uh, 
And that impala right up there is one that my wife had. All the rest of mine. So do you ever have any close calls with one of these animals? Yes, I have. Uh, mind telling one? Or oh, if you'll step back here, I'll tell you. All right. Cool. Hey, now, <laughs> I'm going to guess the lion. Yes. We're going to go. We got to go? I'm sure Bryce is going to come. That's great. Yeah. Did your wife have a good time? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Now you're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> really? Um, which one do you want to hear about first? The lion. Huh? <laughs> the lion. Which one? That one. That one. Well, he was a the male. old male. He looks like an old he man. He was killing cattle on a very remote ranch near Botswana border. Um, and my professional hunter got a cell phone call that he had just killed a cow. And it was a Brahma cow that was worth $10,000. But his teeth were worn down. Those are fake teeth. And uh, <coughs> he couldn't catch wild game <coughs> anymore. <coughs> So I got a license to pursue him and take him out. We tracked him in 100 degree heat for three and a half hours. And lions have to have water every day. And so they'll make a, a long move, maybe 10 miles. But they come back to where we jumped at first. Um, and uh, we had eight trackers spread out so we could push the lion. And we, we tracked him at sandy soil. We tracked him at uh, a jog and a fast walk. <coughs> and when my professional hunter said, you'll get your chance when he decides he's not going to run anymore, and he'll ambush us. And he was flattened out in grass like that. And you could barely see him. All I could see was his head. And I had a four power scope. And I was 25 yards away, and all I could see with four power at 25 yards was his head. And I was trying to get the crosshairs on his chest, but I couldn't see his chest. He was down below the ground. And he was going like this, like a cat ready to pounce. His tail was jerking, and he was biting grass. And he was really angry. And uh, my professional hunter said, shoot, shoot, he's going to charge. And have you ever heard of a lion roar? Up close, they make their knees no weak. bars. No, no, there's, no there's, there's a chain link fence. No, well, so okay. If you ever hear one roar at 25 steps with no bars in front of you and he's mad at you, uh, it's a scary thought. It'd dirty your britches. <laughs> <laughs> scary guy and, uh, find bars. He, uh, just as I pulled the trigger, he roared and the bullet went in his mouth, killed him instantly. So, the other one was more scary. The female? We that. tracked the female for over three hours, Sandy saw, and we had the tracker in front, we're in a straight line, tracker, the professional hunter, me, and another professional hunter. Now, five years ago, they changed the law in South Africa. When you hunt dangerous game, you have to have two professional hunters now, because they had so many professional hunters that were killed by wild game. Are you not considered a, pro a professional hunter by this point? Oh, no. No, you have to go to school for two years, and there's all kinds of stuff. You have to, you have to induce an elephant charge and shoot him while he's charging you. Nope. And uh, anyway, uh, they both, both the professional hunters had their rifle over their shoulder, holding it by the barrel. I had mine at four arms, and that cat uh, was was in a real thick thorn bush, about twice the size of this room. And she let the tracker go by, the first professional go by, and came right at me. And we were right at the edge of it, right from here to there. And I, I swung my rifle around like this, boom, and I shot her between the shoulder blades, right at my feet. One to two steps away. Didn't even have time to get scared. It was over two it's seconds. No reaction. Two seconds, yeah. And uh, they killed her instantly because it severed her spine. And I shot her with a 460 Weatherby, which has 9,300 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. And it's, it's more, more uh, muzzle energy than a 600 Nitro Express. Hmm. What about this peacock? 
Any special story behind the peacock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I was hunting on a ranch down in Texas, and they were going to call uh, six peacocks because they were driving the peahens crazy. There were too many males and not enough females. <laughs> so I said, well, let me have one. So I shot it. It really made me sad. I shot it with a 22 Magnum hollow point, and when it went down, his tail folded, and changed it from a beautiful live bird to a dead bird. And it made me sad. But I've mounted it. It's in a place of honor in my home. And hopefully it will be here for a hundred years. You said it's but, tail folded? Mm-hmm. You said it's tail folded? Yeah, it just went down. Oh, and okay. Yeah, went, uh, I uh, thought that meant like it lost color or something like that. No, 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 no. No, it just muscles that hold it upright like that relaxed and it just folded down. And uh, all of these animals, I view them as a place of honor in my home. Magnificent creatures. What do you do with the meat? That that eland there, that's a Livingston eland, that big animal. That's the best best eating antelope in Africa. And they say, if you serve beef and eland together, you cannot tell the difference. And they're domesticating some of these for the domestic meat market. And if you see those black stripes on the neck on both sides, those are lion claw marks that have healed. There's a lion on his back, but he got away and he healed up. We're talking about this one? Both sides. There's claw marks on both sides. I see. What's your favorite rifle? I don't think I'm not. It depends on what I'm going to shoot. All right, I wanted to give us a little walk around. This beautiful house. Property. So apparently this guy owns 200 yards, or not 200 yards, 200 acres. He made this lake. How did he make this lake? Well, they, that dam was put in. Oh, so that's just a drop over there then. Yeah, so like that's a, a dam that was made. And this was all just a valley before with a small stream? I would guess. I mean, you could ask them for sure, but... Man-made lake. Well, let's go look at this, uh, this dam over here. Okay, so apparently it just used to be a stream over there where the trees are, I'm guessing. He put in... Yeah, I know he has a plane, so I don't know where he... I wonder if he lands the plane right here and takes off right here. I guess that'd be... I guess that's good enough distance. I don't know. But this guy definitely has more money than I'm ever going to have. And more money my brother will ever have if he doesn't actually do something with his with his, all his knowledge be cool. me and my brother invented something or came up with the perfect business idea and this is the sort of future we ended up with I definitely need to exercise more <laughs> pretty sure I'm hearing moo moos out here An incredible, incredible piece of property. 200 acres. It's a lot of property to manage. I wonder if anyone else lives on the property with him. But apparently he dammed this all up himself and mowed down the uh, forestry that used to be down here and then just let it fill up. So I wonder if you went scuba diving in here, if you would, uh, if you'd actually be able to see some of the remnants of the old trees that used to be there. And he stocks it with fish. Wonder what they got over here. There's a remnants of a fire over here. Oh, this is where they were roasting the pig, I bet. Because there's the creepy pig head. How cool.
I think my ride is getting ready to leave. Anyways, you guys, wanted to show you this place. It's beautiful. It's huge. And I wish I could own this much property someday and do something this nice with it. Unfortunately, probably not. Well, we're walking back, getting ready to leave. Ryan came and joined me over here. What do you think of this place, Ryan? Uh, I thought it was very interesting. Wow, that was an emotional opinion. Um, honestly, uh, I liked it a lot. But, I mean... <laughs> you didn't I, went, I went to a hunting room. Was it a nightmare? I mean, there's, I just heard there's just some animals I don't completely agree with. With hunting, for instance, elephants. Well, I guess it really depends on your view, I guess. I don't know. Elephants are an endangered species. And, no, and certain only... elephants are. What? Certain elephants are. Not all elephants. Uh, at least as far as I know. For sure. But, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to kill but them. But it's not illegal to kill them. He didn't bring back a rhino because it's illegal to kill a rhino. That's true. I just, I don't know, I feel bad for the animals. I, I, I... And you heard him explain the story behind why he was allowed to shoot that one, right? Because they have, after their six set of teeth, they, they can't chew food anymore, and they start to slowly starve to death. Yeah. I guess part of me thinks that it's better to die quick than to starve to death. You can see all the fireflies. Are they? When? Tonight. What? They're having fireworks? Are you sure? Now nah, I'm jealous. We gotta find out about this, guys. We'll report back later. So, apparently, they were gonna do fireworks, but the kids took all the fireworks. So they're not doing it. So I'm just getting my stuff and getting ready to leave. That's what I was actually coming to grab right there. Which one? Now we're on our way out. I guess I should turn the camera on or the flash on. Not that turning the flash on made any difference, apparently. <laughs> so this was a fun day. Gave me an opportunity to meet new people. Just chill outside. Matt, you want to say hi? Matt is the son of uh, the gentleman that gave me a ride here. Your dad's name's Larry, right? Yes. That's what I thought. What? Lori. Lori? Lori. Hates that. Oh. <laughs> you like to mess with your dad, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Beginning. We came in right as it died, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All the pig had been eaten. Except for the head. Yeah, well, I don't think I was too keen on eating the pig head. <laughs> what do you think of the loo of death? Two hundred acres is what I heard. 
thirty ounce. Two hundred and fifty eight acres. Two hundred and fifty eight acres? Wow. And he has his own plane. I mean, where does he take it off at? Oh wow, his own runaway. And his creepy little signs about trespassers not coming any further. General practice doctor.